Hello YouTube, Dark Vigilante here, bringing you another video, this time about low-level rune words. Now, I would like to say that I am using Diablo2.DiabloWiki.net's website. I have also compiled a text version of this, so if you're not interested in listening to me talk, it's the Too Long Didn't Read version. Those both will be in the description for you. And lastly, I'd like to preface that even though these rune words are low-level rune words, that the rune words are not necessarily going to be able to be made into a low-level item. For example, spirit can only be made in a monarch or higher due to the fact that four socketed shields, the lowest item that can be a four socketed shield is a monarch. So if you're unsure about something like that, please look it up before you try to make it so that you don't have issues or if you run into problems using a socket quest or anything like that. Without further ado, let's get started. These are in alphabetical order and we have Ancient's Pledge being the first one up. This is going to be a three socketed shield of any variety. It requires level 21, and it takes Rawl, Ort, and Tall. And you can see the stats there. I'll leave that there for just a couple more seconds, and we'll keep going. Next up, we have Edge, which requires a three-socketed bow of any variety, it looks like. And it takes character level 25 to be able to use this, which it will need Tur, Tall, and Am. And you can see what it does there. Again, I'll give you a couple seconds to look at it, and then we'll move on. Holy Thunder, this is going to be a four socketed scepter and it's most likely going to be used with paladins due to the fact that it's a scepter. It doesn't have to be, but that's going to be the usual use. Ethral or Tall, again pretty easy to find at the Countess and some of those can be found at Qualkek in Act 5 for the second quest when you rescue the soldiers. Honor, and I just got to say that is a really cool tattoo. Probably one of the better tattoos I've seen and I'm not a big fan of tattoos, I've never liked them. Anyway, Honor is a five socketed axe, it looks like. And that is Am, El, Ith, Tur, and Sol. Has to be in that order. And this is really not that hard to find. Again, Countess, and really there's nothing that Qualkek can give you, I don't believe, out of that. So just do some Countess runs if you're looking for Honor. Oh, it actually says, excuse me, it says all melee weapons, so it does not have to be an axe. So that correction is there, just for you guys, so you know, any five-socketed melee weapon will do it. Next up, we have Insight. These are four-socketed pole arms, Ralter, Tall Soul. This is pretty common. I think most people know about this. Requires level 27. These can even be put into low-end items like Volges, stuff like that. So really not too hard to do this one. This is a great starting item for a mercenary because this will help you keep your mana constantly up so if you can find these runes I would definitely suggest it especially as a caster class king's grace this is going to be amral fall and this is going to be made from swords and scepters only requires level 25 and yeah there's not really much to say about it you can see it there Leaf, which is great because it's only two runes that need it. Tur, which is really easy to find. And Rawl, which is pretty easy to find as well. This is going to be character level 19 requirement. And it is only two socketed staffs. So if you're leveling up and you're a sorceress, this is probably a great way to go at the beginning of the game to get you started. Lore, and this is a two socketed helm of any kind. And it takes Ort and Soul. Again, two runes is pretty awesome because it doesn't take a lot to find those. Plus one to all skills is really, really good at the beginning of the ladder reset. And this requires character level 27 to be used. Next up we have Malice, which is Ith L F. And this is in three socketed melee weapons of any kind. Requires character level 15. And you can see the stats. Next up we have Myth, and that is made from Hell Am Neph. And this goes into three socketed armors, and it requires character level 25. Now, Hell might be a little tough to find depending on what level you are, but still, this is a really decent armor in my opinion. Especially for your Barbarians, you don't have to put it in the Sacred Armor like they're showing, obviously. But plus two to Barbarian skills, below level 30 on an armor is pretty darn good. So, there you go for you Barbarians up there trying to level up. Next up we have Nadir, 
and this is Neth and Tur. Again, two pretty easy runes to find. This is in headgear of all types, it says. Requires character level 13. And you can see the stats there. Again, not too bad. No plus one to skills or anything, but overall it's not terrible. So if you have those, you can create that. Next we have Peace, which is Shale, Thull, Am. This requires character level 29. It is a three socketed armor of any kind. And this one's pretty decent. This is going to give you uh, plus two to Amazon skills and 20% faster hit recovery, plus two to critical strike. That's pretty amazing for a low level Amazon. I mean, you probably can't find much better than that if there is even anything better than that. So for you leveling Amazons, that'll work well. Radiance, which requires Neff, Soul, and If. This can be in any three socketed headgear, it says. And let's see, Neff, Soul. Soul, a little tough. If is a little tough, depending on your your luck with the Countess, but overall, again, no plus one to skills, but still not a bad helmet overall. Rhyme, this is Shale F, two socketed shields. This is a great item because, number one, it gives you faster block rate, increased blocking, res uh, regenerate mana, excuse me, 15%, resistance is plus 25, and on top of that, you cannot be frozen, you're going to find more gold, and you have a better chance of finding magical items. For a caster, there's really not much you're going to find, if anything, that's better. So, Shale F, it does require level 29, however, but that's still on the lower end of leveling up. You know, level 29 is, what, Act 2, maybe Act 3 or so, somewhere around there, so not too difficult. Next up, we have Spirit, and Spirit can be used in shields and swords with four sockets. And again, with the shields, you got to remember that shields, you have to find, I believe, hell item shields or elite item shields in order to get four sockets. Whereas with the swords, I believe you can find four socketed swords a lot earlier. Um, they think even some of the basic swords might have four sockets in them. I'll have to check on that. Yes, they can. Uh, broadsword and long swords can have four sockets. So in terms of weapons, this would be a great weapon for a caster at the lower end. I don't think this is going to surprise anybody, though. Tall, full, or am, and character requirement is 25. So there you go. Next up, we have Stealth, which is tall F, and this is going to be in two socketed armors. It only requires level 17, so this is a great low level armor. 25% run walk speed is excellent. Faster cast rate, again, excellent, and 25% faster hit recovery. This is going to be more of a caster type of armor, but this is a pretty good temp for leveling up at the really, really low end levels. Steel, Tur L, we have in a axe. You can also use it in a sword and a mace. And again, really great low level item at level 13 requirement. That's pretty awesome because that's down there ways. And this will increase the damage quite a bit. So you're going to get increased damage, increased attack speed, and open wounds, a 50% chance of open wounds is pretty pretty gosh darn good too so strength and this is going to be am tur two socketed melee weapons and character level requirement is level 25 you can see the stats there really good strength boost for your armor that you might need to wear and last but not least is zephyr this is going to be two socketed missile weapons aka bows the character requirement level is 21 and it is Ord F. Again, not too difficult to find these. Two socketed bows are pretty common, so this would be a great bow to start off with with the bows on, you know, at those lower ends. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you're looking for the text version, it's in the description, as well as the website that I'm visiting here so that you can see it for yourself. I hope you guys have a great time leveling up in the new season, and I'll see you in the next video.